I want to talk to you guys about what the most important surround speaker is in your home theater. Hey folks, I'm Gene Dallasala with AudioHawks. I want to talk to you guys about surround speakers. I get this question quite often. Um, you know, what should I budget for my surround speakers? What's the most important speakers to have, locations, you name it. I want to focus on what I believe is the most important of all your surround speakers. Now, before I get into that, I want to first emphasize again that the most important speakers in any system, obviously, are the front speakers and the center channel. You want to have the very highest quality front and center channel speakers and, and preferably that they all match in terms of how they sound. That way you get the best panning from left, center, right. You get the best stereo imaging and you get the really clear dialogue intelligibility. But when you move on from those LCRs, where should you put more of your budget? Now, ideally you would have unlimited budget and you'd have the best speakers for every location. But if you're gonna spend a little more of your budget towards the very best pair of surround speakers, I'm gonna tell you what I feel are the ones you should be putting the most of your budget to. But first I wanna give you a basic diagram here. This is a 7.1.4 system. I consider this kind of the gold standard for immersive surround sound to get the best Atmos experience. Now, obviously you can have a higher channel count. You can add wides, you can add more height channels, depending on if you have multiple rows of seats. But the bare minimum, if you want the very best home theater and music Atmos experience is a seven dot. I would say 7.2.4 system because they always promote and preach multiple subwoofers. And um, you can see in this diagram, the front speakers are there, the LCRs with the subwoofer at the top of the diagram. Then you got your side channels, your back channels, and you've got four height channels. So that's kind of the gold standard. So out of all those surround speakers, you're basically looking at eight surround speakers when you think about it. What are the most important? Well, in my experience, when I sat down and I really spent a lot of time listening since I moved into the Audio Hulk Smart House, especially in the theater system, which is my theater system is a 9.4.4 system. So we've got nine bed layer speakers. We got four Atmos speakers and four subwoofers. And my family room system is a 5.2.4 system. So just listening to a lot of music, especially because you guys know I'm an audiophile, I love music, up mixing that music, I've come to find that the most important speakers in a surround system are the side channels. And I want to tell you why, but first I want to show you just what it looks like and how I have things positioned. This is basically a two row theater. This is the front row. This is my main listening area. This is the most important sound in the whole setup. And I've got those side channels. Those are RBH, the SV821s. These are very high output, very high quality surround speakers. They have almost as much output as my main speakers. They're just missing one of the three eight inch drivers, aluminum drivers. And then they have that big um, AMT tweeter. So again, in this, it's hard to see the angle in this picture, but basically the side channels are a little bit behind the front row. Now, if I was just setting up a single row of seats, I would tell you guys to put that side channel a little bit in front of the front row, maybe 10 degrees in front of it. And the reason why I say this is I can't overemphasize the importance of lateral reflection, reflections. Now, the research that Harmon's done, whether it was under Dr. Floyd Toole and then Sean Olive, they showed that early reflections are very beneficial to adding spaciousness and sound. And that's why you want to preserve when you have really quality speakers, you wanna preserve those sidewall reflections and, and it adds to the spaciousness. The same kind of principle happens with the surround speakers. The way the human ear works, we basically evolved to hear very detailed in front of us and to the side of us. We don't hear as well behind us and we don't hear as well above us. We had to evade the predators that we could see. So when you're placing your surround speakers, you just hear much more of that surround effect, the, the dimension of the surround layer when those speakers are to the sides more so than they're when behind you. And I really can't overemphasize when you're doing two channel up mixing, especially when you use the Dolby or DTS-X up mixers, 
they really extract the correlated information out of that two channel recording much better than what Oro 3D does. Oro 3D is just more of a cut and paste kind of approach. But if you want to hear that layer of expansion in the recording, the best way to hear that is with those side speakers. There's just so much going on there. And the way you perceive it, it's adding to the front sound stage. It just opens it up in such an incredible way. You can't really get that effect if those speakers are completely behind you. So if you're looking at setting up a system, I can't overemphasize that really put put your beans into those side channels. You know, back in the day when 5.1 first came out, when we were doing 5.1 music, the common convention was basically set all your speakers equidistant in a circle from the main listening position. And that worked okay for music, but to be honest with you, if you move those speakers, those surround speakers from behind you more towards the sides, you go to really appreciate that surround effect. It's much more enveloping. And it's not just for two channel music up mix. And I found the same experiences when I'm listening, you know, to streaming movies or streaming uh, TV shows. Like for example, the show Andor, the Star Wars show, when those TIE fighters are flying by, you really get that effect from the side channels. Now, obviously, I love back channels as well. I always feel like the back channels are an anchor, and I like those directly behind, but there is some degree of freedom of where you could place those at angles. But the side channels really add that dimension, and I can't overemphasize that you guys should not skimp on that. Obviously, in an ideal world, all your speakers would be equal and awesome, is, is including this uh, Atmos speakers, but you don't always have that budget to do that. And I just want to tell you guys again, stick as much into those side channels, retreat them with almost as much respect as your front three LCRs, and you won't go wrong. It'll enhance your music listening. It'll enhance your home theater listening as well. So guys, I'm curious, what kind of a speaker layout are you running do you agree? Do you feel like the side channels really are so paramount in getting a good surround envelope? Would love to hear your thoughts about that. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me if you want to suggest video topics or ask questions. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.